Welcome back guys, Moment of Truth has arrived. We're gonna start looping today. Let me ask you a question now. If we had this, these four rows here, and you wanted to, you had a, maybe 20, 15, 20 to 30 rows of scores. The first thing that will come to your mind is, just based on what you know so far, is perhaps you'd have to create 30 different variables to or you'd have to create 30 different print statements to print these all out right and that's basically what we're trying to shorten do a shortcut here and uh, where we introduce iteration so that we don't have to write an enormous amount of lines of code we can simply repeat something that will will constantly uh, have the same type of statement so for example if I want to loop through this list of test scores and print them out one by one what you know so far is you would declare a variable get the row column and then print it out such as this so for example you'd say that dim test score as integer and then test score is equal to cells of one dot value and then debug dot print test score now that's only getting one particular cell value, correct? So I'm only getting the number 60. If we take a look, right? So if I wanted to get 70, 20, 90, and all the 90s after it, I'd have to go create. I mean, I can use the same test score va uh, variable and then just reassign it after this. But I'd have to do it more than 20 times, about 30 times. Right, and we don't really we don't really want to get into the business of doing that. That's very terribly inefficient. That's why looping is important. Because now what we could do is we can represent the row with an incrementing variable and go it, go row by row and then print the value. The column value is not going to change because you're co you're going to be constantly in column one. But the row value will change because we're going for row one, row two, row three. But notice how we still are staying in column one because right? we're not moving from this column. So you're going from one one, two one, three one, four one, five one, six one, seven one, and so on. The first type of looping that we're going to go over in this particular course is going to be the while loop. So if I was to, if the task for me was to print out all the test scores in column one, column A, then the first thing I would do is I'm going to declare two variables. So I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to say that I'm going to say a row column as integer, where row is going to represent the row that I'm currently at, and then column will represent the column that I want to currently want to be at. And the only one that I'm going to in uh, to increment is going to be the row, right? And that's that's going to the what's going to help me is a while loop. The, f the other thing that I want to do after declaring is I want to initialize where I'm at. So I'm, I'm at row one and column one. So that tells me that I'm going to be row one, column one. That's where I'm going to start. Now, the syntax goes that you're going to have while, then a condition here, and I'm just writing it out, and then w end. So your condition is going to be a statement that 
that's going to be a boolean statement so most of the time you're going to be using a relational expression relational could be relational and a mixture of logical could be a relational by itself or could be a logical now if you don't know what I'm talking about with relational or logical look at my videos uh, regarding the relational expressions and logical expressions what I want to do is I want to put in a condition that will make my loop true that will make my loop true right off the top of my head I can tell you that I only want to go up to row 30 so what you want to do for this condition is while our row number is less than 31 then execute the body and I can do that I can say while our row number is less than 31 then we're gonna do so we're gonna do a print but again, it's not over yet because you can end up with an infinite loop. So if I don't increase row, then what's going to be the value of row constantly? If you look at my code. Right, it's going to be 1. So 1 will never increment, right? The, the actual value of row will never increment unless I tell it to. So computers, in essence, are stupid because they'll only do what you tell them to do. So in this particular case when you're setting up your state your condition your looping statement you have to make sure that you put in a particular lines of a particular line of code that is going to increment your control variable and this is what what we call a control variable this control variable controls the loop i will increment it by 1 And now I want to print out whatever is in row and column for this cell. Now, what is the keyword for accessing a cell? It's cell. So, what I can do is I can say debug.print cells of row and column.value. Right? What this is going to do is we're going to check our row value and make sure it's less than 31. If it is, then print out whatever is in row 1, column 1 for this first iteration. Then I'm going to increment row by 1. We're going to go back up top here and then we're going to compare again. Well, what's 1 plus 1? It's 2. So is 2 less than 31? Yes, it is less than 31. So when we come here to the print statement, now we're going to print out whatever is in 2, column 1. Remember, we're not going to increment column 1 because we, we're going to constantly stay in column 1. We are going to increment row because we're going to iterate through a row. So the final result if I run this you're gonna see that it's gonna iterate through everything see that so it went 60 70 20 blah 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 all the way down now in order for you to so you don't think I'm putting some black magic on you I'm gonna change that value to 58 I'm gonna save this if I go back to my macro my last number should be 58 correct if I run that let me just print this. Uh, sorry. Let's try that. All right. So let's run this again. And there it is. There's 58 as the last number. So when it, when this is gets to the number 30, it's going to increment to 31. But then 31 is less than 31 is not true, so it will never hit your body of your while loop. It's never going to hit it. So it's going to come out of the while loop and then end. Okay. So that's how we would go through column one in all these rows. Okay. 
The next video I'm going to show you is I'm going to continue with the while loop and now I'm going to I'm going to go through columns and rows and show you how to do that uh, on an Excel sheet. Okay. If you like this video, press like, subscribe to my channel, check me out at parttimeadjunct.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to the next video.